Hey guys, that Bay Toy Chest here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the LEGO DC Comics Green Lantern Forces and Estro. Comes with 274 pieces and costs about $20. So let's go ahead and take a look at the features. Starting off first, here we have Sinestro, and he has his yellow lantern corpse uh, logo right there. Uh, and his pointing looks really nice with him, with the black and the yellow. Um, he also does have his weapon, which is the nice uh, translucent yellow color. And he, um, and he also has his uh, purple face with the yellow eyes, which looks nice. And there is his second face and his back pointing, which also looks nice. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at Green Lantern Hal Jordan. Um, he also has uh, pretty good pointing uh, with the black and the green. He also has his Green Lantern Corpse logo right there. Um, one thing I do wish that they would have done was put like a little green dot on his hand just to kind of show that he has his... Uh, Green, and he also does have his green mask as well and there is his second face and his back pointing moving him to the side let's go ahead and take a look at space batman uh which is a really nice minifigure to get which is exclusive to the set all of these minifigures are exclusive to the set um the first thing that you'll notice when you look at this figure is his uh, wing pieces, which are a uh, flexible plastic, and they are kind of translucent as well. With the and they also have uh, the golden pointing on it, which looks really nice. And it is the new style of helmet, which doesn't have the chin strap. And taking a look at this head. Um, he has two heads in this uh, set. He has this one with the mask, which doesn't have a uh, second face on it. And he also has his red little face, which you can put on the minifigure. And it does just have the second face as well. But going to the figure himself, uh, you can kind of see... That on his uh, mask, the golden eyepiece is kind of like a beehive effect. Which looks really cool when you look at it. And he also has really nice pointing as well. And uh, going to the back, you can see that he has his jetpack uh, on the back. Which can allows him to fly. And then the wings just kind of act as a stabilizer. And you can... Uh, pull this off and you can he comes with two different wings he comes with the open wing and also the closed wings and you can take this off easily and he does have back pointing so I'll just take uh, this off real fast which is a nice piece to get and there's his back pointing nice back pointing on him as well but putting this back on what and his head back on as well and his mask just to finish the effect um, you can just uh, put this on and then clip the jet pe jet pack piece back on him and uh, it's kind of kind of have to turn him like facing downwards to get it on so the wings stay on but when you put those on it gives him his uh cape looking effect i do wish he came with the battling though just for a weapon but that is it for batman so let's go ahead and take a look at the set and starting off first let's go ahead and look at green uh Howell jordan's uh jet as you can see, it's mostly green. Um, I'm okay with the black just because it matches his color scheme. And the white 
also does match his color scheme as well. But I don't really know why they put the gray in. Because white and black, um, okay, that's doable. But whenever he cre creates stuff, it's all this translucent green color. It's never gray or black or white. It's always translucent green. So I don't know why they decided to uh, do gray, but it's just uh, something that they had to do, I guess. Didn't want to make a new color in this piece. But um, it does look really nice with all the translucent colors. Like uh, this piece is a cool piece to get in, tra in the translucent color. I really like that piece. And also this piece looks cool as well. And it can shoot with this uh, stud shooter white here, which is on both sides, right there, and also right there. So I can just uh, shoot it. It shoots off a translucent green uh, stud, and you do get three extra studs for ammo on the wings. Um, and to kind of do that uh, wing effect for green lantern, you can just put one of the translucent green studs on his hand and it kind of makes it look like he's, um, his wing is glowing. And, um, the stabilizers can move up and down as well. And, um, also, I forgot to mention with Batman, he comes with this super jumper. And you can just put it right in there on the jet. So, you can push down and make it jump, which... I'm not going to put Batman on it because, like I've said in my other reviews, it wants the back of their legs. But coming to the front, you can see the Green Lantern Coal logo right there, which is a printed piece, and that's a really nice piece to get. get. And the cockpit can open up. The windscreen just uh, opens up, uh, just swivels forward. And you can see in the cockpit that it is uh, yeah, uh, white. Ah, can't get my colors white. But also I'd like to mention that when you open it up on the bottom of the windscreen, it's really cool because it's like a neon green color around the edges, which looks really cool. And you can put Hal Jordan in him. He kind of just lies down and now he's in there. And you saw these uh, pieces right there. Well, it's in an action feature for a spring-loaded shooter right there and right there. But you don't push it with your hands from the inside of the screen. You actually twist this, and that white piece in there that's moving will hit it. And that will um, shoot it out, which is a really nice uh, feature. But that is it for that. So now let's go ahead and move on to the um, little model that uh, Sinestro built to hold the um, lantern, the green lantern, um, uh, for how Jordan's uh, lantern that powers his wing. And it is just two uh, clear pieces with a bunch of yellow and black. Um, the only translucent yellow on this is uh, that piece right there. And you do get two of those pieces. That's the only translucent piece on this. But in action feature, the f action feature on it is if you take Hal Jordan's um, uh, jet, you just hit uh, this printed piece right there, which is a really nice printed piece to get with the uh, yellow lantern corpse logo on it. You can just with the uh, uh, more powerful spring loaded shooter, you just um, hit it, missed, hit it, and it opens up and it uh, opens this whole thing up, which is a nice feature. So he's kind of hidden this, and then he can grab his uh, lantern which is a really nice build with all of these translucent green colors. And it does have a handle on the top so it can hold it. The only thing is, it is a... It's just a little uh, oversized, as you can see. It's basically 
the height of a minifigure, just a head length shorter than a minifigure. So it's a little big, but they had to do that to get uh, all the pieces to make it look like the lantern. So it can hold it, and it can look like he's kind of flying, just holding it. But that looks really nice. And another feature that you can do with this is if you take out this little pedestal piece, you can take that out and you can capture Sinestro in his own little uh, model. So he's in uh, his own little prison, basically. And how this is keeping uh, this up is uh, this tan piece right there just goes in the middle of those four studs in it. Uh, holds it but you can still move it forward and it will uh, still come off but that's a nice uh, it's a nice little build um, to build basically um, and it is easy to take this little piece in and put it back out it's only being held in by two pieces but that is it for this set um, it's a pretty nice um, set, and I like all of the features in it. Um, it's a nice build as well, and I love all the translucent colors you get in it as well. Uh, but that is it for the set, so remember to like, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!